working in this case probably for a month. Uh, and on August 30th, um, shortly after I got into this case, I sent a very detailed Brady request to the government. Uh, those Brady obligations, as the, your honor knows, are independent of their discovery obligations as it relates to this hard drive. Uh, they have a due process obligation to turn over to me favorable information. Uh, and I didn't send them some blanket request saying, give me everything under the sun. It was a very, very pointed request on August 30th that addressed two critical issues for Ms. Powell. Uh, that is, number one, that she wasn't behind this incident in Coffee County, which forms the basis of her inclusion in this indictment. And number two, that whatever happened in Coffee County, there's ample evidence out there that it was authorized. Okay, so I've asked for that very specific evidence. In response to my letter on August 30th, I heard nothing from the state. And so this week, I sent an even more tailored request, a copy of which I can provide to your honor, asking for very specific information because I've spent the past month or so trying to figure out what happened and have gathered ample evidence showing those two things, that Ms. Powell was not behind all of this and that it was authorized. I filed a motion last night that sets out all the evidence that I've been able to find on my own, which I hope the state has, okay? But the most important thing that I found, your honor, is a report by CNN, which I've been able to confirm that there is a letter, a letter of invitation from Coffee County on January 1st of 2021 that was sent. And it was sent not to Ms. Powell. It was sent to another lawyer inviting folks to come down to Coffee County and do whatever it is that they do. What does that establish, Your Honor? Two things. One, what I've been saying since last week in my severance motion, what I said in my motion last night, what I'll keep banging the drum on, which is this was not Miss Powell. That's number one. But number two, that this was authorized. Uh, it was authorized. And I have asked for that. I have not asked for eight terabytes versus discovery. This is a handful of documents. We've got eight lawyers sitting on this side. I'm pretty sure they know how to attach a document to an email. But in response to that email that I sent this week, like my letter I sent last in August 30th, I heard squat from the state. So they sit here and say, Your Honor, that they are open and they're going to turn stuff over. I have been as clear as day about specifically what I'm entitled to under the Constitution, due process, Brady versus Maryland, independent of any discovery obligations they have. That is exculpatory information that establishes that Ms. Powell should not be in this case. They have it, Your Honor. I have a reason to believe they have it, and they don't even respond. I have a motion. I'm going to file it. I'm going to ask for this relief, but I shouldn't have to file it. If this were in federal court, rule five, your honor would issue an order upon arraignment, ordering them to turn that material over because they have to. They don't have a choice and they haven't done it here. I'm concerned. I practice mostly in federal court with federal prosecutors who know that. I have concerns that Mr. Wade and the other folks on this side don't appreciate their Brady obligation. So I'm asking the court to order them to produce Brady material immediately because they're required to. 